Hi everybody, I'm Lori from Lori's Kitchen and yes, I'm back. Sorry it's been so long since we've put a show on for you, but I'm sure you guys saw the episode where I dropped the pot on my stove and broke it, so we got the new stove, which led to a new floor, which led to painting, which led to the next room. So we've had the house under construction for the last six months, but hopefully we're back on track again and we'll start doing the show again once or twice a month. Today's episode is going to be really simple. I make it in the summer. It's super simple. The time it takes you to boil the orzo pasta is the time it takes you to make this and it's great. So right here I have orzo pasta. It looks like rice. It's not rice. It's orzo pasta. It's really easy. It's in the pasta aisle. It takes maybe five minutes. You boil it and it's done. So I have a bowl of that. In this bowl I've already cut up red peppers orange peppers, and yellow peppers. It gives the, the salad a lot of color. I'm gonna, when I'm done mixing this all together, I'm gonna put it on top of a romaine lettuce leaf, and you kinda eat it like a taco. It's, a, it's like a pasta salad, but you don't need a plate, a fork, and all that stuff to eat it. And I put the dressing on top of it. I'm gonna show you how to cut the pepper. I cut the top off first, pull out the insides, because you don't want all those seeds and stuff. Okay, cut it in here. If you want small dice, because remember it's not on a plate, so you don't have a fork or anything like that. Cut along the rib, and then it's easy to cut the white rib out. Okay, cut the ribs out of all of them. So I hope everybody's having a great summer. I'm out of school, I finally graduated. I'm a certified chef now, so maybe I'll have more time to do fun things like this. Cut your pepper, make sure it's in small dices, because don't forget that you are putting this on top of the salad with the orzo. So I try to make it the same size as the orzo salad, the orzo pasta. Okay. And you could put other things in it. Nobody says you just have to put peppers. You could put tomatoes if you'd like. Um, I just call it an orzo pepper salad. And I like it with the peppers. I am going to come back on and I am going to show you different kinds of different pasta salads. So those will have peppers and cucumbers. I make a really good spaghetti salad, believe it or not. It sounds not too good, but it is really good. It's a cold spaghetti salad. My brother-in-law loves it. So when we get together with him, I try to make a cold spaghetti salad. <clears throat> okay, the green one is cut up. Small dices. Watch your fingers. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to, all it is, is I'm going to take my orzo salad. I'm going to put all of the peppers in it. All the different colors. and we'll mix it together. Okay, and as you're mixing, make sure your orzo salad is cooled off, your orzo pasta is cooled off before you start putting things, because you don't want to make the peppers soggy, because the orzo pe uh, pasta is still warm. Okay, look at how pretty those colors are, kind of looks like Christmas. Christmas in a bowl. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm making a mess. And no, I don't have people who clean up after me. Hmm, maybe someday. Okay. Then you're going to take, I use good seasoned salad dressing. You make it in the jar, you mix it all up, and you pour it on. With a bowl this big, I probably am going to use the whole jar. Well, maybe not. Okay. You mix it. Now, you prefer to mix it and leave it sit for a couple of hours because then the salad dressing really absorbs into the pasta and all of the peppers and all of that. You don't have to, but if you're going to do it for a lot of people, I would let it sit for a while. It has a lot more flavor in it. Look at how pretty that looks. And you can put it on the bowl like this. You can put the whole bowl on your table and eat it like this if this is what you prefer. OK, 
Okay, see how watery? You see how shiny? So you know that the salad dressing has been through the whole thing. Then you can take a leaf like this. Make sure you rinse them off and dry them. You don't want them wet because then they'll get soggy. And you take your salad and you just put it in your leaf. And it's like eating a taco. I put it like, I usually get like a round plate or something and that's how I serve it. Now, was that simple? I promised you simple. I promised you quick. Now I'm going to go outside and I'm going to serve this to my guests. And they're going to let you know how good it is. Because it is really good. I'm going to serve my family. They decided they did not want to go outside. It was too hot. So we're going to serve them right here in the kitchen. I want to show you how pretty. You can fan it, put it in a dish, put it, layer them, whatever you want to do with them. But look at how pretty with all the colors and everything. Okay, this is my niece Carly, my sister's mother-in-law Elaine, my sister Kim, my daughter Jillian, my niece Jamie, and my daughter Jalen. They are going to be our guinea pigs today. Okay, take one. Not the big one. Okay. That's good. Two Mama. Here, baby, let me get it for you. There you go. There you go. Two hands. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Can you get mine out too? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have Thank to get you. your own. Thank, Thank you. you. That looks delicious. <laughs> that looks scrumptious. Yummy. Okay. My okay. favorite thing in the whole world. Yes. <laughs> okay. This looks good to eat. Too good. Carlos crunching mm. over there. And the last one's for Kim. She's doing all the filming. <laughs> okay, guys. And that is my orzo and pepper salad taco. You can call it wrap. You can call it whatever you want. The kids love it. It's easy. You walk around with it. And we'll be back, I promise you, real soon for some new recipes. You could look up the recipe and everything on laurianskitchen.blog. <laughs> <laughs> But it's Laurieann's Kitchen at blogspot.com. Blogspot.com. <laughs> or you can call a Kimmy and she'll let you know. <laughs> All right, we'll see you soon. Have a great summer. Bye. It's delicious. You've got to try it. Mm. Refreshing.